Uh, talk to me about the fight, uh, especially given the, the situation at the weigh-ins yesterday. You guys got chippier than anybody else, which was kind of fun to, fun to see. But talk to me about how things played out in there tonight and, and where did that incident from yesterday kind of play in your head as you got in there tonight? <coughs> No, when yesterday was over, it's over for me. You know, I just don't want anyone to get to, to get in my face. I wasn't trying to instigate anything, but she was walking forward, so I just stuck my hand out because I don't want anyone in my face or else it's a fight. But after that's over, no, I'm focused on today and being calm, cool, collected. And I can, you know, I show her respect. She fights, she fought hard and yeah, like, you know, but yesterday, yeah, I did get a little heated and, and I don't really get like that, but <clears throat> it is what it is. <laughs> Afterwards, you, when you, I saw you, you, you know, kind of hurried over to try and tell her, you know, hey, good fight or whatever, and bury the hatchet, whatever you were trying to do, and she didn't seem like she was having much of it. She didn't. She, it, during the fight, too, like, which I don't know why I do this. I don't love that, <laughs> that I do this when I punch you. Just go, oosh, oosh, you know. <laughs> but um, she just started imitating me. But it doesn't, I'm in, in the zone. Nothing bothers me. I'm like, okay, I'm going to just keep fighting and, and I came out with a win, so. Beautiful. Sucks um, <clears throat> we all know the, the rumors and the speculation that this might be the last show for Bellator. Can you talk to me about your future if that proves to be the case? What comes next for you? I know that you're, are you 40 next year? <clears throat> That's that magic number that everybody talks about, right? <laughs> Excuse me, at 39 feeling fine, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm 48, and I wake up with sprained ankles just from laying in bed, so don't worry about it. Um, but, but what is next for you if this, if this promotion just goes away? What, what comes next for you? Well, um, you know, if I get the release, Gilbert's my manager, and I still want to keep going. I feel great. Like, I, I'm a little older, but I don't have that much fight damage, and I feel smarter than ever. And when I was younger, you just push, push, push. And now I, I train smart. And <clears throat> I don't overtrain. Yes, there has been a little bit of bumps because I've had a three-year layoff. But now I feel like I can get back on track way easier than it, than it took for this camp. Nice. Um, so then what do, you, what do you see kind of as the, as the future? Do you feel like you, you do this 10 more years and just say, when my body says it's time, then it's time. But right now, it ain't time. Yeah, right now, it definitely isn't time. I'm feeling great. And everyone that I train with, even younger, older, I don't feel a difference. <clears throat> It's just the camp being smarter. Gary, congrats on the win. Uh, you kind of talked about burying the hatchet, you know, today's today. In the cage, obviously, your team and everyone around <laughs> cage side was yelling about the what seemed to be seven fence grabs in 30 I know. seconds. That was so rude. And she was grabbing my glove. Like, <laughs> when I was had her against the cage, I was like, and I kept telling the ref, and I, I don't want to say anything bad about anybody, but I don't know. She kept doing things like that. And I was like, uh, <laughs> Does that urge you a little bit? Like, let's just get this fight over with. Let's get her out of here. Um, it, I mean, I don't, at the time, no. When, when I look back now, yes. But during the time, no, I just keep fighting and staying in the zone. It's, it was frustrating because I heard my team <clears throat> yelling a million times that she's grabbing the fence. She's grabbing the fence. I was like, geez, like, this ref, is, let her cheat anymore? Literally everyone <laughs> around was yelling it. Um, talking about your team. Gilbert and everyone around you. What does it mean to have this much support here with you in your corner around you and keep you going each and every fight? Oh, it feels great. I'm so lucky. I'm around a bunch of legends and I was just like, I better not F this up in front of them. I better not F this up in front of them is what I thought. And just to make, hopefully make them proud. I'm representing myself, but also them. Like they're, they're here supporting me and I'm so lucky that I have like such a solid group of people who make me feel comfortable, who know what it's like, who've been through it, and who've taught me what it's like. I've been to their fights, and I see how they handle things, and it's really impressive. <clears throat> you are also very impressive yourself. Now, I'm not gonna bring up age, but do you feel you can be sort of, I won't say a trailblazer, but kind of just like a motivation for those, whether it be in fighting or in life, who are looking to but excel maybe at a later stage of their career or, you know, kind of defy the odds and go, yeah, you can do this no matter what age you are. I hope so. I mean, it wasn't like a goal of mine, but now that it's here, it feels good to be that person, a representative, but that wasn't my goal. <laughs> I've been doing it for a long time before I started out doing kickboxing before it was like popular Muay Thai, but I didn't think I would be doing it still now. But, but when you say that, it feels great. <laughs> Congrats again. Thank you.